Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm going to take you through a sedentary workout that you can do at home if you're new to exercise or you haven't quite got the fitness or the mobility to perform higher exertion exercises such as push-ups and things like that. This is more aimed at getting you moving and getting you active. So first we'll start with a warm-up. We're going to warm up our whole body while using the chair. Our first one is going to warm up our chest. What we're going to do is put our arms straight out to the side and we're going to pull back until you feel that tension in your shoulders and your chest. You're going to hold it there for five seconds and then you're going to release. You're going to do that five times. This should really open up your chest and pectoral region as well as activate some of your shoulders. The next one you're going to do, you're going to do that five times, is a torso rotation. You're going to put your arms across your chest and you're going to turn to the side, keeping your hips still. You're going to turn to each side. You're going to do five each way. Have a little rest in between and you're going to do that twice. So it's 10 reps, five each way for two sets. The next one you're going to do is marching. So I'll hop these out of the way. We're going to need them soon. You're going to hold the side of your chair. You're going to open up our hip flexors by marching. And you're going to do 10 marching paces on each side for two sets. What you're going to do is lift your feet up, put them back down. Up and down, up and down. This activates inside your hip flexors, gets you moving. It'll stop you from cramping later on during our exercises. The next one we're going to do is an ankle activation. You're going to put your legs straight out, holding onto the side of the chair. And you're just going to point your toe and bring it back to a flexion mode. Out for extension, back in for flexion. You're going to do 10 of these on each side, but only one set. That's all you're going to need for this. Swapping sides, point, bring it back. Extension, flexion, extension, flexion. 10 of those. Then you're going to do some arm raises while sitting on the chair. You only need to do 10 of these as well. What you're going to do is put your hands to your side, palms facing out, bring them up to the top so they touch thumbs, back down. While you're doing this, try to extend your fingers at the same time so you feel like you're extending your whole arm as well as rotating your, your shoulder in your rotator cuffs there to keep them nice and healthy. It's normally the one area that we hurt the most because our shoulder joints are so small. Finally, in your warm-up, you're going to do a neck tilt. What you're going to do is you're going to put your arm across and then you're going to tilt your head away from that arm and you're going to hold it there for five seconds. And then you're going to swap sides and hold it for five seconds. And you're going to do that three times on each side. So I'll go one more time across. Holding, try to get that ear to the shoulder, really opening up this neck region and then to the other side. So that should get you nicely warmed up. Now that I'm already on the chair, we're gonna start with our upper body. You'll need some weights or some water bottles, cans of food, whatever you have within your range. Do not go too heavy. We don't wanna be fatiguing. We just wanna get the joints moving. You're gonna do a shoulder press. So with your shoulder press, you're gonna have your weights out to the side. Your arms are gonna stay at a 90 degree here. I don't wanna see any dropping because this is redundant movement. You're going to be here. What you're going to do is you're going to press them up so they touch back down. Up and back down. This works our entire shoulder region. It's an all over shoulder movement, what we call a compound movement for our shoulder muscles. You're going to do two sets of 10. I want you to take about a 30 second rest in between those. Once you've done those, you're going to move on to the lateral part of your shoulder. So this part of your shoulder on top, where we normally pull a lot of muscles. We're going to do some lateral raises with our weights. What you're going to do is bring them out to the side, hold there at 90 degrees, and back down. You don't need to come right up. That's a redundant movement as well. We're just going to come to there, back down, up and down. And you're going to do two sets of 10 of these with that 30 second rest in between. If you need extra rest, take the extra rest. We want to finish the sets. We don't want to be failing yet. We're not up to that just yet. Once you've done your shoulders, you're going to move on to your chest. So doing a seated chest press is much easier than having to turn around and get on the chair and do push-ups or on the ground and trying to do your chest presses down there. You can do them here. So holding onto your weight, you'll keep your arms locked into your side. And what you're going to do is push the weight out to the front and back. Out to the front and back. 
you'll know a full rep has been done when you can straighten your arms to the front and when your elbows touch a chair at the back. So this works all through this region and this region of your chest. It will hit part of the middle, but that's more when you're laying on your back, but at least we can activate our pectoral region. So it's out and back, out and back, and you're gonna do two sets of 10 of those as well. Then we're gonna move on to our arms. The first one we're gonna do is our bicep curls. There's two types of curls I'm gonna get you to do. The first one is your normal bicep curl. So you'll sit with your palms faced towards, uh, outwards, and you're gonna bring your arms up and back down, locking your elbows into your side so you're moving from your elbows only. You don't wanna be doing this. That's not working your biceps whatsoever. It's actually working more of your back. So locking those arms in, you're gonna do one set of 10 of your normal curls. Then what you're gonna do is flip the bottles so they're pointing straight forward. These are called a hammer curl. You're gonna come up and back down. And you're gonna do this as well for one set of 10. Making sure in between you take that 30 second break just to reset your arms so you don't burn out. Then you're gonna move on to your triceps. You only need one weight for this one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your arms straight up. Make sure your, your biceps are touching your ears so that way you know that you're nice and close. You don't wanna flare out because you're gonna lose all activation of your triceps. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drop it straight back behind your head to where you can and then push it back up back down and push it back up. This works these muscles right here, your triceps. You'll feel them turn on if you have your arms close enough. If you're out here, you won't feel anything in your arms and we don't want that. So keeping it nice and close, you're gonna do two sets of 10 with that 30 second rest in between. That's it for your upper body. Nice and easy, nice easy motions. That should keep you going, ready for your core. Your core involves this range in here and your lower back, so your abs and your back. What you're gonna do for your first one is a torso rotation like we did in our warm up, but holding the weight. You're gonna hold the weight out to the front. If you find that's too hard on your arms, you can bring the weight in. But try to do it out, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn to the side, keeping those hips nice and still, to the side, keeping the hips nice and still. What you're gonna do is 10 reps each side. So it works out to be 20 reps in total for two sets, making sure you take that 30 second break in between. Now you can put your weights down and hold the side of your chair for your next ab exercise, which is our reverse crunch. What you're going to do is you're going to bring your feet up. If you can only get them up to there, that's fine. We'll do what we can. But try to get them right up so they're straight. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knees to your chest. Your feet will dip down but this is gonna work the lower abdominal region, which is actually quite hard to target on a chair, but this is the best exercise for it. You're gonna push these out two sets of 10, remembering to take that 30 second break in between. Try to keep your feet together, holding on as best you can. I prefer to put my hands on top of the chair. You may prefer to hold the chair. Then your last ab exercise is our flutter kicks. These are a bit more challenging. So if you're finding you're having trouble with these, you can just drop these out and just do those first two exercises. You're gonna once again, bring your legs out to the front and you're just gonna, like you're swimming, kick your legs. I want you doing 10 on each side, so 20 reps total. But because this exercise goes nice and quick, I want you doing three sets. So 30 second rest in between, holding onto your chair, have your deep breaths, bring your heart rate back, and then go again after your 30 seconds for 20. So 10 each leg. That will activate all this lower ab. It'll also activate all this part of your top ab. The last one you wanna do, is holding onto your weights, is a side bend. You're gonna have your weights up to the side. And what you're gonna do is just rotate to the side and back up. You're gonna do five on each side. So 10 reps total and you're going to rest for 30 seconds in between your set. Only two sets of these, because these ones really do target our little muscles in our abs called our obliques, which are down the side of our body here. So that's your love handles. That will help tone those sort of things up. Now we're gonna move on to our legs. You won't need weights for your legs whatsoever. You're gonna do a leg extension as your first one. Your leg extension really hits your quadricep muscles, which is these front four muscles in the top of your leg. What you're going to do, you're gonna do them single leg, if you're feeling more advanced, you can do double leg. I'll show you how to do that, but we'll start with single. You're gonna do 10 on each leg. What you're gonna do is keep your right foot planted, kick your left foot up till you feel that tension in your leg. 
up and down, up and down. You'll also feel this activate a little bit in your lower back, but if it's painful in your lower back, just don't come as high. We don't really want to cause any strain in your lower back. Once you do 10 on one leg, you'll go to the other leg. And you'll do 10 there. You're going to do two sets of these with that 30 second break in the middle. If you're feeling more advanced and you feel like that's a little bit easy, you can do them with both legs. So what you do is you hold your chair, bring your feet together, kick them up and kick them up. So you can do these together. This will make you work your core at the same time. It's like a leg raise that we do on our backs. We're raising our legs off the ground. So it activates a bit more in here as well as through your upper legs here. Then you're going to do what we call a heel drag. So we're going to target now our hamstrings, which are on the back of our legs. What you're going to do is put one leg out straight, plant your other one. So your straight leg is your working leg. And what you're going to do is dig your heel into the ground and then pull it back towards yourself. Out and pull it back towards yourself. I want you doing 10 on each leg of these. You will really feel this through the back of your legs. You can change your resistance by not putting as much pressure on your leg. That will lighten your load. If you really want to work yourself, push as hard as you can into the ground before you move. Swapping legs before you rest. You're going to take a 30 second rest again in between these for your two sets. Your final exercise is a calf raise. So holding onto the side of your chair, we're going to target these muscles at the back on our lower leg. And what you're, it's a very simple exercise. All you're going to do is bring your feet up, feel that pinch at the top, hold it for two seconds, drop it back down. Up, hold for two seconds, drop it back down, up, hold it for two seconds, drop it back down. You're going to do two sets of 10 of these. That seems to be our common number, two sets of 10. Nice and easy to remember with that 30 second rest in between. So there you have it. There's an entire body workout, upper, core, legs, all done on a chair in the comfort of your own home. Hopefully, as you build your confidence, and it's something you can even do in an office if you're an office worker, as you build your confidence, you might come into the gym, come and do some of our classes. For our older members, we've got Active Over 50's Easy Start at Lake Haven, and we have options at PLC for your Easy Starts as well. So hopefully we'll see you in the gym when we reopen soon. If you have any questions at any time, please feel free to contact either Lake Haven or PLC on their emails. You'll be able to find us on the internet, and hopefully we can help you out with any inquiries. Hope to see you in the gym.